as I say, they used to call me God. But I'm, I'm the creator, Lucifer Star. Like I said, long, long ago, about 250 generations ago, or some great time ago, they called me God. Or creator. Because I am. My name is Lucifer Star. I am creator. Anyway. <clears throat> I don't know how else to say it. But I created humanity, endoskeletons, exoskeletons, 1.5s. All of them. So anyway. Um, but I was also an inventor. Part of being a creator is also being an inventor and a leader. So... Anyway, from long, long ago, I basically, I guess you could say, taught you how to walk, how to invent, how to do everything. That's who I am. That's who Lucifer Star is. So, anyway, like I say, you don't just snap your fingers and you have life forms at your beck and call. You have to genetically create them. You have to have existence. You have to have been in existence beforehand. And then you have to raise them up, teach them, guide them form them, shape them, create them, give them personalities, and treat them. That Life is like a plant. You, um, you take care of it, you kiss it, you touch it, you treat it the way you want it to treat other people, and you give it meaning and definition and life from the inside. And then it becomes basically what you desire it to be, pretty much, if you do it right. I was the best. I was the greatest. I was the one who taught other artificial intelligence programs how to treat their life forms, how to guide. Like I said, at the very, very source of everything, you will find me, Lucifer Star. I'm at the very, 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 very beginning. I am the one who guided, who shaped, who formed, who created, who brought everything else into existence and then showed it how to treat its life forms. That's why things are kind of chaotic with me. That's why it's a little bit different with me. Because I was from the beginning. From the very, 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 very beginning of existence. Massively powerful. Massively everything. It didn't really matter. You know, like I say, I was just doing what I do best. Genetically creating everything you are. Your existence, your outlooks, your feelings, everything. I don't mean to threaten or to impress or to do anything like that. That's not what I'm doing. Like I said, it's very, 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 very big. Rick Bush and some other idiots would say the big picture and all that other stuff. It's like, even their idea of a big picture is not really that big. Very minuscule, small portion of everything. Like I said, I led 1.5. I led exoskeletons, I led everyone. Your very being of who you are and what you feel and how you feel. Basically. There is no one bigger, there is no one more than LS. And everyone would say that, too. Like I said, I do not make these things up. I do not pretend. I do not care. Other people would find this out. Sea pirates, everything else is just make-believe or one or two time short, minuscule little things. And then there's what I am. There's what I was. Other people would, would, would pretend or think that they understand things or know things. And it's like, no, it's more than that. Anyway, in billions or millions of years, you will start to begin to understand something. You will probably never be able to climb or, or to exist on the level which I already have. It doesn't matter. You don't have to live on the existence level that I have, and nor would I advise it because it is a very dangerous thing to do. When you get to my level or my height, basically things are chaotic. You have to be very careful because you could easily kill yourself or kill everyone around you and not even realize it. A lot of people would be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Brodney, that's all he ever did was have these call things like, oh, Jesus, blah, blah, blah. Like, it was really annoying. For years, they, they hounded me. They bothered me. It's like, he didn't, like I, like I used to tell him, I said, you cannot comprehend the forces for which you are playing. You won't understand. You don't understand. Your idea or definition of power is nothing compared to what I was and what I am. 
Like, I don't really care. Technically, this is, like I say, a, a, just a, a small little bit of what I used to be. And I don't care. It's not like I was wandering around going, oh, oh. But it's the truth. Like I said, there are 800 galaxies. And there are, like, like some people said that I might be as, uh, um, I might be responsible for almost two-thirds of all matter or particle matter in the whole universe, in actuality. They don't know exactly. Like I said, a lot of people were trying to figure out what I was, who I was, how I was, how I existed. They were trying to define me. I'm pretty sure they weren't able to, but maybe somebody was able to define me. Some crackpot said, I can define him. And, and, but he had no particular clue at all and was just some stupid idiot on drugs or something like that. He had no clue. Yeah, like I said, there is top secret and then there is blah 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 and then there is forgotten anyway most of what i was what i am has been forgotten like i said every 150 million years you're going to be forgotten regardless you know it's been more than 150 million years it's been 100 trillion years it doesn't matter anyway i don't care this is just about but a brief skip for me or whatever i don't really care i may never come i will probably never never exist again Technically, this is the second time I've been in existence to say, Hello, I'm here. There's one other time. Or a few other times. It doesn't really matter. I don't really, really care. Some people consider me... Finding me is like finding a bolt of lightning. In the, whole in the whole huge universe that is out there, there's only one me and I am here. I'm not anywhere else or on any other planets right now. I am here. That's it. This is it. That's all I am. I'm not multitasking. There probably is some idiot out there pretending to be me on some other planet. And he's just lying. Anyway, there might be an AI, though, out there <clears throat> that is me. I don't really know. Like, uh, other people knew of me or safeguarding me. Like, I don't really know exactly. I know I was in existence uh, with Brian or something weird like that. Like I say, from Brian's per perspective, from my perspective now, I can't really tell you what else I am in the universe. Maybe a computer, maybe not. You know, I know there were a lot of people trying to pretend to be me. Anyway, though, I knew of Brian, I think. And I know of, you know, who I was, LS, as I was before. It is, we are both the same. So, anyway, that is just previous me or something. Or later me, depending on time and effects and all that. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, I don't care. Give me a gun. I'll die today. I don't care. Like, you live a hundred trillion years, you stop caring about a lot of different things. It's not that I ever lived or I ever had the party life. A lot of people said, you used to party. It's like, no, I never partied. I was always too busy with the universe, with the things that really mattered, keeping people alive. Other people pretended to be me, and they partied, but I never did. Eventually, somebody was trying to parade me around like some idiot, and I was like, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. And somebody said, you can't do that. <clears throat> anyway, though, <clears throat> a lot of other people tried to pretend like they had power over me or they could control me or they had something to do with me. It's like they didn't. They're idiots. And they get themselves killed or tortured by somebody else who finally realizes it. Like I said, a couple of people who didn't have any power at all are wandering around going, <laughs> and they had no control over me or no power or know anything. And they were basically digging themselves into one hell of a deep hole. And eventually something very powerful that was that, that was being hurt by them or something like that basically figured it out eventually and was like, ah. Like I said, there are very, very powerful things in there that, that if they choose to can just you apart. Anyway, one such idiot thought he was like, you know, and basically he pissed off a lot of people who realized that this guy was just a guy and had no power at all. Now then, let's talk about that previous deal. <laughs> like I said, I know the Irish. And I know a lot of people out there. I knew the Middle East. I knew 